I'm William Cyril. I'm the leader of Team DECO for the Palo Alto Longevity Prize. Uh, I have a master's degree in physics and I switched fields around 30 years ago to work in biochemistry. I believe that we have identified uh, a product called DECO that was originally theorized or discovered by an endocrinologist named Donner Denkla. DECO, DECO, stands for Decreasing Consumption of Oxygen. And what Denkla found is that as animals aged, their responsiveness to thyroid hormone, which is one of the major metabolic regulators, decreased. And he eventually, through his research, found that there seemed to be a pituitary factor, a pituitary hormone, that he called DECO, that was responsible for this decrease. And he found that when animals had their pituitaries removed, and then the necessary hormones, thyroid hormone and uh, adrenal steroid hormones, were replaced, the animals stopped aging. And a key piece of information to complete the picture was provided by my son. If high doses of DECO accelerated aging, which is what Donner Denkler's work showed, then a very small dose might actually have the reverse effect. Increasing doses would be a death hormone. Low doses could be a youth hormone. Some of the challenges that we've had to deal with are just um, getting the funding we need in order to run the experiments and we're still working on budgets. NIH is a great institution and there are grants available certainly. The problem with the grant process is that I think it would take too long for what we want to do. I'd much rather look for funding from outside sources. If we had unlimited funding what I would do additionally to what we're doing would be to do some ge genetic studies uh, in particular to identify some of the molecular mechanisms involved. When I read the description of what the Longevity Prize was looking for in terms of studies, I was amazed because it fit so closely with what I've already been working on. And so that was a very exciting and fortuitous, serendipitous connection that has led to my involvement here. For one thing, I want to get younger too, but <laughs> it's important to win this prize because it can do a great deal of good for everybody, for all of humanity. This is the right time to launch this prize for a lot of reasons, but it's not just about aging. It's about uh, all the age-related diseases. Four out of five deaths are related to stroke, hypertension, heart disease, or cancer. Those are the, the major killers. If you eliminated those, you'd eliminate the vast majority of diseases on the planet. And all of those are age-related diseases. We need to look at the big picture, at the degeneration that occurs with aging, slowing that or halting that as the answer to treating many different diseases. I have, in fact, lost a, a family member. Um, and it was my, my wife died uh, nine years ago at the age of 46 uh, of uh, inflammatory breast cancer. And we kept her alive as long as possible, used the best of conventional and alternative medicine, and it was not enough. Um, and I don't know that the research that I'm talking about with DECO could be helpful. It might be, because there are effects on cancer it would certainly make a difference. It could have made a difference for her. We need some new ideas, some, something really innovative, and this is totally out of the box, so it might work. I assembled my team from a group of friends who I've worked with over the last 25 years. Uh, our medical director is Dr. Albert Dahlberg. He's uh, a totally innovative thinker. Um, the research director is Dr. Timothy Marr, and the other team member is my son, Miles Cyril, who's working on his master's degree and will have another paper published in a couple of months. The science of longevity can be completely transformed within a very short while. I don't know what the other teams are working on, but I'm sure it's something at least as exciting. And I think the result of a competition like this is that it's going to, uh, it's going to transform all of uh, anti-aging research. I'm very excited to be part of it. I'm very excited that the Palo Alto Prize is bringing people together from diverse fields because I'm sure it's going to enrich the possibilities for everyone to work together and to make a real difference in cracking the aging code. And I'm just thrilled to be a part of it.